to get started. Okay, so as usual, check your surroundings. Um, grab more support if you need. Okay, but let's start off with just marshalling a spot. Okay, same reminder. Let's see if you can imagine the, imagine a book on top of your head and see if you can push that book up a little higher to the ceiling. So don't necessarily don't really look up because the book is going to drop behind you. So imagine pushing more at the back of your head up to the ceiling. Okay, if you when you do that, your posture probably is pretty good. So you should feel like your chest is rising up a little bit as you do this. Your shoulder kind of automatically maybe be a little further back when your head is a little bit further back uh, as well. Okay, see if you can hold this posture okay, while still taking deep breaths in and out, okay, still being able to rotate a uh, swing from your shoulders, a little bit of rotation through the spine as well. Okay, so let's do that for a little bit. Okay, just a couple of deep breaths in and out. Okay, so let's try to march maybe closer to your toes. Okay, so just feel a little more pressure in the front of your feet as you march. Okay, and can you do the opposite? Maybe a little bit more pressure on your heels. Okay, so don't necessarily go up on your heels, but just more pressure towards the back. Okay, imagine trying to push, keep your whole footprint on the ground as you march. What about just the outside of the feet? Okay, a little bit more pressure there. Okay, what about inside edge? A little bit more. Okay, so just some ways, some ways to change, change it up. Okay, just to be more aware of exactly how we're marching. Okay, so let's move our spine. Okay, so breathing out, just kind of relax from that top posture. Okay, and then do the opposite, breathing in. Okay, exaggerating the motion, so bring your chest up, arching it back a little bit. Okay, just breathe out, doing the same. Okay, if you don't have back problems, you can slouch a little bit more. Okay, so you breathe in, open up through the hands. Okay, bring your chest up again. Okay, you can just repeat a few times. Okay, if, you, if your back is fine, you can see if you can suck your stomach in a little bit, round your back a little bit more. Okay, breathing in. Okay, maybe arching back slightly more. Okay, one or two more times. Okay, side to side turn. Okay, pulling the arms back a little more, still opening through the hands, pushing the palms out towards the side. You can have your arms in different kind of angles. You can have your head in different angles. Okay, give yourself a bigger hug. Kind of tuck it in your chin a little bit as well. Okay, once again, you can change up the angle a little bit. Okay, shaking those out. Okay, tilt your head sideways a little bit. Uh, stop your feet if, uh, if it makes it easy for you, and you can have a little bit of pressure pulling against the head. Okay, with the free hand, you're just going to kind of swing back and side to side or in and out. Okay, see if you can reach a little bit more towards your hips, reach a little bit further down your neck. Okay, so you might feel stretched as you reach there. You feel a little more tense on the side of the neck as you reach up. Okay, pause in the middle for as long as you need. Okay, and just the same thing on the other side. Okay, just whenever you're ready. And coming back. Okay, swing the arms. Okay, more 
front to back. Okay, more up and down. Okay, reach a little further overhead. Okay, see if you can bring your chest up, okay, and push and point the elbows upwards. Trying to almost imagine pushing your armpits forward. Okay, and then do the opposite, trying to put the hands behind our pelvis. Okay, so gently see if you can reach slightly higher up. Okay, take this gently. Okay, and we're just gonna hold here for a second as we try to pull our elbows back, our shoulders back. Okay, once again, think of that good posture, think of pushing that book up to the ceiling. You can just hold this position or you can kind of contract and relax. Okay, coming back out, going into more of a shoulder circle. Okay, try to pull it backwards and downwards a little bit more. Okay, exaggerate the motion a little bit, so moving the entire spine. You can always switch directions. Okay, shoulders relax. Okay, just moving the arms. Okay, see if you can open up the hand again. Okay, so as you have your hands Go away from the body, see if you can open the palm as well. Okay, in front. Okay, as you come back in, see if you can bend your fingers a little bit. Okay, so make a fist as you kind of have your hands coming back to the middle. Okay, and let's go upwards a little bit. Okay, so one hand up a little bit. Okay, see if you can reach across. This probably uh, pointing back might be easier. So breath in and out. Okay, once again, see if you can go into a circle. Okay, so see if you can bend the tips of your fingers a little bit as you circle around as well. Okay, and coming back. Okay, and let's do the same thing on the other side. Reaching up and across a couple of times first. Pushing the palm up to the ceiling and inwards. Okay, once again, circle on top of us. Okay, and see if you can just bend the tips of your fingers while you are circling your arms, arm a little bit. Okay, and come back. Bend the elbows a few times, up and down. Okay, let's go side to side. So elbows in. Okay, and stay kind of tight to your body as you try to just push your thumb a little further back. Okay, opposite elbows up. Okay, try to reach downwards. Okay, without slouching. Or have your shoulders pushed forward too much. Okay, just the arm rotating. Okay, entire arm rotates. Okay, imagine like a brush, you're painting a wall. Okay, so as you're on the way up, close the fist, dragging your knuckles up. On the way down, open the hand, like you're brushing the wall of your fingertips. Okay, side to side a little bit, pushing so palms down. Okay, and just try to push the inside and outside of the wrist or leading with those areas. Okay, and just go into a bigger circle with the entire hand and fingers. Okay, so fingers should be open and closing a little bit. Okay, so let's go on to the lower body. Okay, so turning. Rotation first. Okay, rub the left one heel. 
So everything points in the same direction at the end of the turn. Excuse me. Okay, and then more the hips. Okay, allowing your upper body to relax a little bit more. Okay, more the upper body, you're gonna have the hands up. Okay, you're just gonna reach towards one hand, okay, and turn a little bit more. Okay, so the feet doesn't move as much. Okay, so more rotating the spine. Okay, so reach your hand, touch your hands together and then just go a little bit further. Okay, imagine looking behind you a little bit more. Okay, and let's bend from the hips. Okay, hinging from the hips. Getting okay, the stretch behind the thighs a little bit more. Okay, squatting down a little bit more, so allow the knees to bend. So your butt drops down a little bit more. Knees, you want to push them out slightly. Okay, but you should feel like you're still flat on your feet. Okay, one leg forward, you're gonna just push your hips forward. Okay, reaching the, uh, if your left leg is back, then left arm up and towards the middle. Okay, let me just repeat between the two sides. Okay, doing this beside a wall, I have a chair uh, for balance. Okay, so opposite arm and leg forward. Okay, and checking out a little bit. Okay, bending the knees. Okay, and then let's touch front to back a few times. Okay, side to side a few times. Okay, you can go towards the front and also towards the back. Okay, same thing with the other leg. Okay, front to back, side to side. Okay, go forward and back. Rotating the entire leg. Kind of like putting out maybe a cigarette. Okay, standing more on one foot. Okay, so spread your toes out a little bit for balance. Okay, just a couple of times on each leg. Okay, and the toes, just try to bend a few times, stretch the floor, do the opposite, keep the foot on the, the, on the ground, try to lift just the toes. Okay, spread it apart a little bit if you can. Okay, so that's the warm up. Okay, so let's get ready for the 10 minute sets. Okay, give me a second to turn on my timer. So remember, you can stop at any point. You can adjust your own to your own pace. Okay, just try to keep moving in some ways. Okay, for kind of ten minutes at a time, getting our heart rate a little bit faster, getting our breathing a little bit faster. Okay, still same reminders. Even if you're tired, see if you can still get that book a little high up. But fast enough. Okay, so let's still try to march in different ways. Okay, so we're gonna try to just kind of march maybe a little more on our toes for a little bit. 
you know, just move more pressure on your toes. Okay, you can go up, actually go up, up on your toes if you want to. Okay, can we do the opposite? Can we put more pressure on your heels? Okay, if you feel comfortable, you can actually, once again, lift your toes up and march just on your heels. Okay, can we march more on the side, outside edge of our feet? Okay, can we go to inside edge a little bit? So probably more pressure for the big toe. Okay, and we just back to the middle. So the whole foot, both of the feet touches the ground completely. Okay, and let's slowly speed up again. Okay, let's keep it simple. Let's move side to side. In the next 30 seconds. Okay, maybe check your surroundings again. Okay, so moving side to side. Okay, slowly see if you can make your steps a little bigger. Okay, so actually move sideways a little bit of a bigger step. Okay, uh, but of course, depending on how much space you have. But just slightly bigger steps. Okay, and even look where you want to go. So look side to side a little bit. Okay, and once again, adjust your pace, slowly wrapping up. Okay, let's go side to side again, but this time more in a zigzag pattern. So a little bit more for diagonal forward, diagonally backwards. Okay, so we're still moving side to side. Okay, just a little bit of forward and backward motion. Okay, see if you can still look face forward though. Okay, so uh, it's actually, actually a side step, not, not, not just turn. Okay, once again, if you can, see if you can do a little bit bigger step as you change direction. Okay, so let's do a cross step next. Okay, so that's you're gonna be reaching one leg just slightly behind the other. Okay, if you feel comfortable, you can reach all the way across or you can just kind of tap behind the other leg. Okay, so if you kind of a tap, hands probably go in the same direction, it makes it a little bit easier. If you want, see if you can reach a little further with your arms as well. Some more rotation for the back. Okay, next one, let's try to just cross forward. Okay, so same kind of idea. You can just tap in front of your foot, other foot, or you can reach all the way across. So be tapping, okay, just reaching across. Okay, the sunny hands might want to move in the opposite direction for balance. Okay, and let's say we slowly pick up the speed a little more again. Okay, so let's actually practice a cross step, so a little bit, be a little bit more careful. Okay, so we'll be crossing in front, step back out, cross behind, step back out. Okay, so you're just crossing your feet a little bit, or at least have your feet in line as you move 
side to side. Okay, so take it a little bit slower. Okay, so we just tap in front, come back out, tap behind, come back out. Okay, and use repeating. Okay, if you feel comfortable, you can do actually cross your legs. Okay, but go with what is comfortable for you, what feels safe for you. You can change up which foot is in front okay, which foot is going behind. Okay, if you feel comfortable, you can actually go a little bit more quickly. Okay, so just be more comfortable if you ever have your feet a little bit crossed up, you can quickly change it back out as well. Okay, so let's still do side to side, okay? But this time, let's try to squat down a little bit. Okay, so we're gonna push your hips backwards, okay? Feel the pressure of your feet still closer to your heels, okay? So not on your toes, okay? So squatting a little bit lower, marching, okay? And let's just try to move a little bit side to side, okay? Because again, pay attention to the pressure on your feet, okay? Be at least kind of flat on, the, on, your, on your feet, okay? Maybe a little closer to your heels, how low you go is completely up to you. The lower you go, of course, the harder it is. Hands can be doing whatever you need to do to maintain your balance. Okay, and then coming back out. Okay, let's try to do a rotation next. Okay, so we're gonna be still squatting a little bit lower. Okay, every couple of seconds we just we're gonna turn side to side a little bit okay you can go all the way to face the side if you want okay but you could be doing this top turning rotation while you are squatting a little bit lower okay so do it in any fashion you like so you can do a couple of steps okay once again but look where you are going towards So thighs are beginning a little bit higher. Okay, in that case, we come up a little bit higher. If you find it's too much for your knees, okay, but see if you can turn your gaze as well. Okay, and coming back up. Okay, and let's just do one last one. Same idea, still crouching a little bit lower. Okay, let's do the zigzag pattern, okay? But just with a lower, little bit lower stance. Okay, once again, it doesn't have to be all the way down. It could be just a little bit lower. Okay, so a little bit lower. Okay, see if you can move kind of zigzag, a little bit in front, a little bit in back. I'm just getting used to be able to move our feet in different ways. Okay, if you want, you can even just do a couple of quicker, bigger steps. Okay, and let's slowly come back out. Okay, so keep moving while you're a little bit out of breath. Okay, so while we're kind of resting, let's just do a little bit more walking patterns. Okay, so let's try to go kind of in a circle almost. So uh, we don't go so fast, probably don't have a big space. Okay, and if you feel comfortable, okay, see if you can do the same thing. When we're going backwards. Okay, once again, just go with what feels safe for you. So if this does not feel safe for you, just forget about it. Okay, and sometimes change up which direction you're going. So a lot of time people do fall when they have to A, go backwards, B, they're going in a circle, turning their bodies a little bit. Okay, so just kind of a practice just to be more comfortable. 
Okay, so let's check the time. Right now it's 9.50, I think it's 9.56 on the dot. Okay, so let's come back in around two minutes, uh, 9.58. Okay, if you want to join us for the second set, uh, we've still been using the tile, so maybe grab that uh, and see everyone in two minutes. Okay, so let's get ready for the second set. Okay, as usual, slowly ramp up. Okay, and we're just gonna be warming up the shoulders a little bit more. Okay, so the first one, we're just gonna pass a towel behind us. Okay, so from one hand to the other. Okay, so we'll be just kind of going around. Okay, if you can switch direction at any time. Okay, so we see if you can maybe reach it, pass it a little further behind you even. The next one, we just do the same thing. We're still passing it behind us, okay? But this time, more behind our head, okay? So it would just look like we put it on a coat, so uh, we grab it by one of the edges. Okay, and you're just gonna be kind of going around the head, almost like you put it on a coat, okay? And then coming back out, okay? So it'll be kind of just kind of a circular motion with these shoulders. But if you really do it more continuously, one side might be a little bit easier than the other. Okay, you can kind of exaggerate the motion a little bit more if you want to. Okay, but take it easy if you have any shoulder issues. Okay, next one a little bit harder. Okay, we're going to be lifting. Uh, so two ways to do it. You can either lift your knees a little higher okay, if you feel comfortable standing on one leg. If you find it's too way too hard, you're going to take a step forward. Okay, what we're doing is going to pass it just behind or underneath one of the leg. Okay, so if it's easy, if it's okay for you, you can lift one leg up and pass it. If it's too unstable for you, take a step forward and pass it kind of this way. Okay, so up to you which way you feel more comfortable. So if you find it's easy for you to stand on one foot, okay, see if you can pass it underneath the thighs. Okay, or you can take a step forward. Okay, or you can take a step out to one side and pass it that way by kind of bending 
forward. Okay, but up to you which way you feel more comfortable. Okay, coming back up. The next one, let's try to just throw up. We're gonna just be throwing up the towel and then catch it. Okay, so see if you can pass it between the two arms. Okay, see if you can even throw it a little bit further side to side. Okay, but let's speed back up a little bit probably. Okay, so kind of a bunch of slow movements. So let's try to keep our heart rate up a little bit by moving our arms a little bit faster. Okay, so, and then we're just gonna be passing it side to side. Okay, or you can, if you want size, you can also just do it on one, one side. Okay, see if you can, we do a couple of side steps as well. Okay, so try to throw a little bit further towards one way and do a little bit of side stepping like we did in the first set. Okay, so just a bunch of coordination between the eyes, the arms, and the feet. Okay, so next one, let's try to go a little bit quicker now. Okay, so uh, choke up the tata a little bit, so it's uh, long, it might be a little bit harder, or harder to, the time might go over the place. So choke it up a little bit, so it's just a little bit shorter. Okay, and we're just gonna be flicking it up and down, like we're trying to put out a fire or, or something like that. Okay, you probably just stop your feet. Okay, and just try to go a little bit quicker. There would be smaller motion first. Seconds, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, let's slowly speed up. Okay, and let's go back to our usual with the gravity ends of the towels. Okay, so next one, we're still going up and down, but this time more to the side, okay, and then chopping onto your one leg. Okay, if you can, see if you can go between different sides, that will be chop. Okay, so almost like a cross. Okay, or you can just do one side at a time. Okay, so you can just do one side, it's probably easier to go a little faster this way. Okay, and once in a while, switch okay back to back to press okay next one we're just going to be doing a cross in front of us okay and we're just going to be just kind of stationary on the feet So you probably want to be turning your pelvis a little bit as well. So remember not to just twist your back, turn your feet a little bit, so rotate your pelvis. Okay, let's go between the feet. So a little bit of a swat coming up just above the head. Okay, and going back in between the feet. Okay, so standing tall, kind of drive up through the heels, squeeze your butt on top. Just because standing taller lets you stand up. It's really push your butt backwards. 
So we put them around. Just feel the pressure on your feet again. Close to be the pressure should be closer to your heels. Okay, let's do one hand. Okay, we're just going to be swinging it above our head. Okay, so like a helicopter, just swing it on top of the head. Okay, take it slower at the beginning. Okay, if you feel comfortable, then you can do it with a little more force. A slightly bigger motion. Okay, if you feel the switch, it might be harder on in one direction compared to the other. Okay, so shoulders probably is the one getting a little more tired. Okay, check it out. And for the last round, we're just gonna do the same thing just on the other arm. If one side is a problem, we should take a rest or just repeat on the same. Okay, and just get ready for the last round. Okay, once again, take it maybe a little bit slower to start with. Okay, especially if it's your non-dominant hand. Okay, if you feel comfortable, you can go bigger motion or slightly faster. Okay, if you feel the switch direction, you can. Okay, 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, and let's slow back down. Okay, so let's do the inline walk just for a cool down. Okay, so just the walking on a more narrow surface. Okay, so uh, go wider if you need to for balance. Okay, but one foot in front of the other. Okay, you look, go left, front to back. Okay, see if you can look to one side or change where you're looking. Okay, as you are going forward and back. Okay, and that's also, if you want, just kind of count with your fingers. Okay, as you are doing this. Okay, so remember to switch to five as you are counting with your fingers. Okay, you can also go backwards. Okay, another way is also just to distract yourself by counting out numbers as well. Okay, so let's uh, start up, maybe let's try going to a, going from 100, okay, and we're counting backwards by three. Okay, so 100, 97, 94, 91, 88, 85, 82, 79, okay, and so on and so forth. Okay, so the idea, is that what we do for us, we're usually a little bit distracted, so we need to practice being, be able to juggle a couple of things at the same time, okay, especially a little bit of thinking and a little bit of balance as well. Okay, so let's check the time. Right now it's 10 past 10. Okay, let's come back around 10, uh, 12 past 10. Okay, if you want to join us for the last set.
Okay. Well, final set for today. Just on the idea of um, doing something with our uh, mind as, at the same time as our hands. Okay, see if you can touch your index finger to kind of each finger. Okay, so that should be, be pretty simple. Okay, see uh, if you can skip a finger. Okay, so maybe index to the ring finger, okay, or the middle finger to the pinky. Okay, now try to see if you can do uh, opposite. So one hand is gonna be touching the thumb to the pinky, the other hand is gonna be to the index finger. Okay, see if you can go between the fingers, okay, but just a little bit in the opposite direction. Okay, so it gets a little bit trickier if you try to go a little bit faster while we're marching. And that's until you kind of get used to the pattern. Okay, so that sensation of trying to figure something out, that's good for the brain. Okay, that's what we need to keep our brain healthy just by doing something more novel, something we're not used to. Okay, so let's try to go, maybe speed back up a little bit. Okay, let's try to just move our hands a little bit quicker through the elbows. Okay, slightly bigger motion, slightly faster. If you really want to, you can keep going, going with the fingers, going in different directions while we are kind of moving our hands and feet. Okay, very easy to get confused while we are going a little faster. Okay, so maybe still keeping up the pace a little bit. Okay, how fast once again is completely up to you. Okay, next one, let's move the shoulders a little bit more. We're just gonna be have our hands in front or to the side, okay, while we are marching. Okay, so just a little bit off to the side and forward. Okay, if you feel comfortable, a little harder will be going more in a small circle. Okay, feel free to go a little slower through the feet, probably a little bit easier to manage. If you feel switch directions. Okay, and back up <coughs> to the march. Okay, let's try to lift the knees a little higher and reaching up to the ceiling at the same time. Okay, so. Keep up the speed for a little bit longer first. Okay, a little bit flatter through the feet. You try to reach a little bit higher up the knees, into the hands, open up the fingers on the top. And once again, you can play around your fingers if you want to at the same time. Okay, and back to the marching. Okay, next one, we're just going to be kind of touching a uh, Catch clutching our fingers front to back, okay, and we'll be moving our one foot at the same time. Okay, so we hands and legs together. Okay, so on the back, see if you can touch different fingers together. So kind of touch the ring finger, middle finger, index finger, okay, or the thumbs. Okay, a little bit hard to a little harder to manage because we're not really looking. Okay, you can feel free to switch 
legs as well. Okay, and back to the marching. Okay, next one, we're just gonna be tapping our one foot out. Okay, and we're gonna be opening up the chest, kiss the palms up, open up the fingers, okay, and then coming back to the center, opening up the opposite direction. Okay, so we'll be opening up, get okay, back to center, Okay, so open and closing. You can look in different directions if you want to. Okay, or you can keep just looking forward. Okay, but see if you can open your chest up. Okay, one side a little bit higher than the other. Okay, now your legs just goes out a little bit backwards. Okay, next one has to go down and then upwards. Okay, so we're squatting down a little bit, reaching kind of forward. And then as you step back up, also reach up at the same time. So down and forward, up and back. Okay, feet move stop. Okay, and then squatting stance. Okay, reaching forward and down. Okay, see if you can reach forward to so keep your back a little bit straighter. You can always push your butt a little further back so you don't you are not bending your knees too too much. Okay, so you might see a little bit of a stretch in your butt on the back of your thighs. Okay, next one, let's do a combination. So we're gonna be reaching down and across. Okay, and then stepping out the other way and opening up. Okay, so we'll be stepping one way. Okay, and stepping out the other way. Okay, so it's two, stepping in both directions. Okay, we'll reach. Okay, so reaching down and across. Okay, up and across. Okay, we can look where you wanna go. Look where you're reaching. Okay, let's switch direction, let's switch hands rather. Okay, feet, let's kind of do the same thing. Okay, and back to the middle. Okay, next one, we're just gonna be moving forward and back a little bit. Okay, as you reach down, you're gonna take a few steps backwards, bending over from the hips. As you go forward, you're gonna be reaching upwards. Okay, so we'll be going up and down. Okay, feel free to adjust how far you're bending down. You can see you can still hinge from the hips a little bit more. Okay, maybe go up onto your toes a little bit more in the front. Okay, if we ever lose a balance and go backwards, okay, we do want to be hinging forward, so just to get our weight back forward. Okay, so because if you're upright and going backwards, you're just gonna kind of keep going, the moment is gonna keep carrying you Backwards. Okay, so if you do fall, can you fall backwards? See if you can get your hips back. So your weight comes back forward okay, and you will just keep going back. Okay, next last one. Let's just, oh, actually, actually, we're finished actually. Okay, so let's slow bang, slow down. I keep moving through the feet. Okay, so let's do the narrow walk. Okay, but 
let's try um, kind of just one step. So you're gonna be pushing one step forward, okay, push your weight on the front leg, okay, and then shifting back, and then putting more weight on the back leg again. Okay, so it's just one step, okay, but a little bit bigger weight shifting, okay, and be able to change direction. Okay, kind of similar idea to the walking in a line, okay, but also more weight, uh, kind of uh, weight shifting quickly. Okay, switch which leg you are stepping with. Okay, once again, you can try to look maybe in one direction a little bit more. Okay, or maybe switch. Okay, maybe even look up and down a little bit. Or you can have one um, out a little bit. Okay, that would change your balance points a little bit. Okay, and also just be able to recover if we do lose the balance a little bit. Okay, so let's do our usual stretch. Okay, so if you're familiar with it, feel free to just do it on your own. Okay, but just the calf stretch and the hip stretch. Okay, so just anything that can get your toes a little higher up. Okay, and you can put some weight on to the front, feeling a stretch in your calves. Okay, feel free to stretch at any time. Okay, this roughly will be at least 15 to 30 seconds. Okay, front to the hips. Okay, same as usual, one in four, one in back. About buckle up, stomach a little bit in, back leg straight, both toes kind of pointing forward. Okay, and deep breath in and out to the belly area. Switch whenever you want to. Once again, belt buckle up, stomach slightly in, back leg straight. Okay. So that's all the time we have for today. So thank you for coming. Hope to see everyone next time. Take care. Bye-bye.